Hello, so today I'm going to be storing away a bunch of Jake photo cards that I have in this box. I've been hoarding these cards for like over a month now and I mean, it doesn't look like a lot. Also, it's been a minute since I posted. I'm so sorry about that. In my defense though, I did film like half of a run a group order with me video, which I was actually really excited about. Like that video was pretty good, not gonna lie. But then I was in the middle of unboxing the, it was for the Manifesto in Seoul for DVD and Digi codes, which I thought was a real good group order to film but then in the middle of unboxing this fiasco happened I think the photo card is in here or not I don't what wait huh huh am I what am I missing something also where's the DVD wait what there's nothing in here. So yeah, that kind of soured the mood for me for the rest of the video, so. Dealing with Weaver's customer service while you're also on your period, I feel like it's not the greatest combination, so I'm so sorry that video is lost forever. But there are gonna be more run a group order with me video opportunities for me because I did open for all Korean's doors for Dark Blood and then a few like Lucky Draws. But anyways, let's get into storing. I have two Jake binders as we all know. I might have a third one coming soon for Dark Blood but I don't I don't know yet. I need I need everyone's opinions on that later. So yeah. Anyways, this is my album binder and this is my non-album binder. And we're gonna be starting with the album binder. So let me put this away. Okay, I have my album binder here and then my photo cards. Let me just get the album ones that I need. I actually I don't have that many, but I think I'm completing my Jake album collection for his regular album photo cards. So that is very exciting. Yay! Okay, in my last storing video, I said that like I was supposed to finish this set because I bought the entire set But then this photo card got damaged and it was like really like super damaged and then I literally bought this card I kid you not like four freaking times This is like the fourth time I bought this freaking card and like it's actually not damaged this time. So yay finishing boy day one So cute and then for my Border Day 1 pop page, I actually do have a card for this page, you guys. Ta-da! It's one of his cutest pops ever. He looks so like you in this one. Are you kidding me? A mutual sold this to me. I was so gagged. I've been informed by my lovely template that this is Yizu round two. So then if I remember correctly, <laughs> okay, if you're new to my channel, I don't write on my fillers because I don't like the look of my handwriting in my binder. So yeah, but then moments like this, it gets kind of confusing. Okay, this is round two. I'm, I'm guessing, what did I want to collect? What the hell? Oh, okay. I wanted to collect like Misima, which I don't have yet. And then round one should be at the top. Okay, this is round two, so I'm guessing it goes here. Oh my god, look how young he is. I'm gagged. Okay, my new goal for the year is to finish freaking pops from older eras. Anyways, that's all I had for board day one. And then, dude, my carnival pop page is so sad. Look at that. Oh my god, I need to work on this seriously. Oh, okay, border hawk and I actually do have cards for. I'm actually completing this set. Oh my god. Okay, so these are the rest of his like non selfie cards. I don't remember, like, they're like the standard versions, I think, or something. I don't know. Um, but then I wanted to like match up the concepts with the selfie cards or the solo jacket cards, I mean, to like, like that. Is that cute? Or do you like it like, <gasps> wait, do I like it like that? Okay, I like that. I've literally waited so long to store these photo cards. I don't even like remember what photo cards I bought. I like definitely finished his album photo card, so that's fun and exciting. Cute! Yay! I haven't decided if I want to collect pops for this era because there's only technically, I think, three. So it wouldn't even like match up nicely on my A5 wide. So I don't know. That is for a future bit to decide. <laughs> um, I finished Dilemma. Answer is also done. Okay, another Japanese album. We have Dimension Senko, which I actually have all the cards for. Yay! Okay, I already put in the pages. I don't know how to set this up. Okay, wait. These are album, I mean, selfie cards. I'm pretty sure this is like Weaver's Japan and then like UMS or something like that. Um, okay, wait. Match up the backs. I'm gonna definitely put the selfie cards together like this. Okay, but then the rest of the concept cards kind of dump. Mm, wait. Okay, yeah. I think that looks nice. And then we have these two on like the other page. And then I plan on doing the same thing that I did for Sadame since it also had eight cards. Like I put these two on a separate page and the remaining four slots I'll like collect some kind of pobs or lucky draws. 
like that okay i'm like really mad this card and this card are literally the same thing but whatever at least i'm putting them on like a separate page so that it doesn't feel super similar so i'm not too mad about it okay that was it for my album collection i think i freaking finished all of his korean and japanese photo cards you guys also this is where i asked for you guys opinion okay so i was thinking i could set up for dark blood in this video as well because i don't have like that many cards to store but then i was thinking right because like I could fit it in here like technically then I feel like it wouldn't be super super safe I already like kind of sorted out in my head there's gonna be like five pages for dark blood for what I could plan on collecting so I don't know guys I don't know and I was thinking like if I set up a new binder which I have already bought if I were to set up a new binder that would be kind of slay because like it's a new Enha era like in the sense that like this is like the first Korean comeback without like a colon in the title so I thought that was pretty cool and also it's my first like official Enha comeback or Korean comeback because technically it's anime but like I don't really count that as like a real comeback so I think it'd be kind of nice for me to start a new binder with that in mind so yeah let me know if you guys want me to record another setting up binder video i know i literally just did one last video but it's fun to film so yeah i don't know i can also set up for dark blood in that video as well so let me know and i will get on to it but anyways that was it for my album photo card collection kind of quick but let's move on to my non-album binder because that has some really super exciting cards yay Okay, so my non-album binder that you guys watched me set up in my last video. Thank you so much for everyone who commented saying they liked my deco. I really appreciate that. Y'all gassed me up too much. But anyways, this binder is super, super exciting because I have really exciting cards. First of all, changes that I made to the binder since my last video. I swapped out my Lazada photo card for his hoodie photo card because I made some changes to Entor as well. So we'll get into that later. Okay, first section is event cards, which I actually have a handful to put away within this first page guys are you kidding me oh my god i am a proud owner of jake lime music event photo card you guys please stop i'm so obsessed with this card one of 30 to have this card you guys spent a pretty penny but we're here now it looks so good he's gonna be a little lonely because i don't have the rest of his event card but i'm gonna work on it slowly you know it's a comeback season i can take my time it is definitely a priority to get these event cards not like i wouldn't say done it'd be nice to get them done but like get a good chunk of the first page going you know i literally cannot believe i'm an owner of a line music jake what the fuck this jake collection is a little serious anyways moving on i don't have anything for this page um i have stuff for this page okay the next two cards i have for this page are both from manifesto in asia this one is from bangkok and then this one is manila pretty sure Collecting event cards are so fun, you guys. Like, I know it's like a pretty penny and it's like a good investment or something. It's like pretty expensive to collect event cards, obviously. But like, I swear, the struggle of like getting, like first of all, finding these cards and finding someone who will ship to you and like conversing with the seller and like everything is like, it's actually kind of fun. Like it's scary, but like kind of fun. Like, <laughs> Oh wait, I actually have another photo card for this. This is questionnaire photo card. This is the newest one, I think. People are going absolutely feral for these cards because they all like took the selfies with basketball jerseys i'm no basketball stan but they look mad good so my event pages are coming out great oh my god Very cute okay next is season's greetings which i don't have anything for since i already stored these last time okay google package i do have okay for google package i have his 2022 i think Okay, yeah, 2022. I love this concept. It's like a packaging concept. That is so like group order manager of them. I don't know. I think this is the random one and then this is like the set one, which is different from what they did this year because the set one was like selfie photo cards and then the random one was like a concept card, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna put it here or should we do it like this? I like it like that. And then I don't know what to fill in for this last page. I haven't really looked into the Google package inclusions yet. If there's like a group card, I'll probably put it in there, but as of right now i'm just like focused on getting the actual photo cards of jake specifically so yeah i've been so lazy i know i can just buy these cards so easily wait i just realized i think there's like four photo cards for the first google packet correct me if i'm wrong but there's one selfie card the random one and then there's like a concept looking one and then there's two polaroids so if i shift ugh, you know what that's for a future vic to deal with right now i'm just like i'm just gonna put them in yeah 
pass on responsibility to future Vic. Anyways, I have the 2023 Goo Goo package to put away as well. And I have everything for that one. Ta-da! I hosted a group order for this, so it's gonna take up the whole page. <laughs> um, I don't know how I wanna start this. Okay, wait. Let me play around. For this one, I put a sticker in a double sleeve. I know I really didn't have to double sleeve the sticker, but it's to say that I double sleeve my entire J collection. What do we think about this layout? Or should I do it like... No, no, no. Okay, I think that doesn't make me mad. Yeah, yeah. Let's store it like that. Speaking of dark blood though, I did, like I previously mentioned, I opened for like all of the Korean stores and I also like kind of bought a fixed claim spot for my own group order for him. And like, even though you guys know I'm not an everything collector, I kind of wanted to do it for my first Enha comeback because I've never been an everything collector. So I just wanted to see how that felt and then I already had a taste of it. I'm not going to do it again. On top of that, I don't even plan on keeping all the pre-order benefits that I bought. I'm literally only planning on keeping six so that it fits on a page yeah i'm really clowning myself but again it's my first inha comeback so i wanted to go a little all out just to see how it's like and like you know i thought it'd be fun to host a bunch of group orders for it anyways moving on we have what is this anniversary Da -da. This is the binder index. If you guys know, I had a problem with buying this card because I was away at a meeting and then I told my friend to buy it for me and then she was like, yeah, I got you. And then she freaking bought three of the photo frames instead of a binder index for me. I don't know, but I got it in the end. It was a good deal. So anniversary for this year is officially done. God bless. Just need to find his first one, which I have found, but it's like $60. I'm like, oh, you guys need to chill out. It is not that serious. That is anniversary done. Uh, oh, and tour. Okay, I made some changes to manifesto that I need to talk about. Obviously, this page is good. I had his hoodie photo card and like unit photo cards in here as well. I took out the hoodie photo card because I decided like that wasn't like the tour merch I wanted to collect anyways. I kind of want to keep it to like the trading pack cards and also any DVD related merch because I don't know if you guys know, but DVDs are actually like my favorite non-album merch item that K-pop groups drop. I have my EXO Elijah one and I literally watch it like often like that's like a merch item that I actually freaking like use and like watch again because I love concerts and I love like concert videos and horror stuff so yeah my battery is gonna die I will be right back <laughs> Okay, I'm back with a fully charged battery. I don't know what I was saying, but basically I switched the unit photo cards and then moved his photo cards up. I think they were up. I, I don't remember. I did this because I wanted to make room for the manifesto and four photo cards, but then they freaking announced the Japanese ones. So I don't even know, guys. I don't even know. Hopefully they make like a USA one because then it would fit on an A5Y really nicely with my setup. But anyways, as you all know, the fiasco that played in the beginning of the video, I was only able to secure his DVD photo card. Oh, wait, no, this is Digipack. Digipack photo card and then the clear pop for my group orders. If something like messes up in the process like that, if they like forget a card, I'll take the hit. I feel like it's my responsibility to take the hit. I'm not saying like all gums should do that, but like for me personally, I would feel so like horrible if I just like let one of my joiners wait on a photo card and yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't make me feel good. So that's why I only have his DigiCode. Pro tip, if you're dealing with Weaver's customer service, make sure one, that you're filming your unboxing and two, that you're literally like labeling everything. Like I can show you guys the photo, I think. I literally went in my iPad and like I drew like arrows because at first when I sent them a message of just like the photo itself, they were like, you have to include the invoice and then your name on a post-it note or whatever and your address. And I'm like, bro, I literally did. It's right there in the photo so i literally sat there and i was like label circling labeling and like drawing arrows and like counting like it was insane and then they finally understood me so yeah they sent me a replacement it's currently at my caddy which i'm actually really surprised because they said that it would take four to ten weeks to send me a replacement which is a little crazy but before that i wanted to secure jake's dvd photo card just in case so i bought it on k twitter in case i don't pull his photo card because yeah what are the chances of that but yeah 
yeah, other than the Weavers fiasco, pretty good. Just remember my pro tips, record your unboxing and label everything. This is his transparent pob. I don't have like white sleeves that fit these pages. So like what I was thinking of doing is using my filler, right? Putting it in normally. And then like on the back, since these are double-sided, I could just like use this as like a makeshift sleeve, kind of. I mean, it's not perfect, but like, hey, looks pretty good to me. Should I set up for the Japanese ones? No, I'm not going to. Only because they're not set to like ship out until like freaking August. So I don't see the point of doing that right now. But again, I hope they make a USA one because I'm pretty sure they like recorded some of the concert. Like I'm pretty sure they recorded like the Atlanta show. I could be making this up, but if that is the case, I hope they release DVD stuff so that I can fill up another row in my binder. <laughs> Oh, that was it. That was it for the video, you guys. Wow, what a quick short little video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I know it's been a minute and this is probably gonna be a shorter-ish video. I just really wanted to store my photo cards before comeback era, which I'm very super excited about. There's gonna be more videos to come because one, comeback season, two, I'll be on summer break, so I'll be more free. But yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and I promise I'll be more active. Anyways, this is a long outro. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's a quick video, but I promise there's more to come and yeah, thank you so much guys Make sure you guys pre-order dark blood. Okay, pre-order pre-save do all that stuff. Thank you. Bye